This is Chris from Style Harmony. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is about Christmas. I think you already guessed. And we're going to do very sparkly uh, cards, or at least we're going to make the, the, the cover of the card, okay? Because a card is just very simple. We're going to make something really nice. And I decided today to go along with some candles and poinsettia because that's the flower of Christmas. So, what you will need for this. Very simple. On the previous video I showed you how to do a galaxy background. So we're going to use that as an example. I'm not going to redo this. Just go and check out this uh, this video. I will put a link on the upper right corner here. And I've only added a few things on here. I mean just on the background here I've put some glitter. So if for example you have messed up your uh, your background doing the galaxy or you have something that is not really nice don't throw it away cover it up with the, some glitter I'm I love this one because it has a lot of shimmer and glimmer and and it's sparkling but the problem is I can't find this glitter any longer it was like a holographic glitter and I do have one but it's really chunky it's too big and I've tried making the background and it looked like this and it's really too much too big uh, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to use another glitter and I decided to use uh, blue here because my um, my background is rather dark. You could use gold, you can use red or any other color or maybe silver that would be fine as well. So uh, what I'm going to, I'm going to put these aside and I'm going to show you how to make this one and you will be needing for this of course some cards, you will be needing an embossing folder, maybe some uh, dies if you have some and one of your cards or your backgrounds that you messed up I have a very good example here, I didn't really like the look of it so I wanted to see if I could put some uh, some uh, Mod Podge on it to make it look nicer and glossy but I think it's even worse so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to cover it up and still use my paper because I don't like to throw things away. So you could use this kind of background too or make it darker. Anything you have or just make one. Uh, I've embossed also a piece of paper here because that's going to help me make my candles and make them more interesting. I hope you'll be able to see that, but yes, now I think you can see it. Um, there's uh, They're embossed here and I'm doing three. You can use just one or one big. Uh, as you wish and this is an embossing folder from Doris and it's like a wood grain okay and for the dies let me show you I, oops, I am using the dies from uh, um, Tim Holtz and it's called Alteration uh, from Sizzix of course and there are their poinsettia uh, dies here now there's no picture but you've got three sizes of poinsettia and uh, that's it. So I'm going to be using this and I've only used the two smallest here because of the size of the card. And first what I'm going to do here is take care of my background. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my background here. Oops, that's a lot. And I'm just using uh, Elmer's glue. It's a really old one. I just keep up filling it every time I need some. And I'm working on a uh, nonstick mat here. Don't put too much glue because the more you put, the more glitter is going to stick to it. Um, I just try to put an even coat, not too thick, not too, just enough for my glitter to stick there. So we're going to hide the bad thing we've done or we don't want to show anybody. If you are uh, pleased with your uh, background, of course, don't put the glitter. It's just another idea, okay? Okay, now I've got all this away. I'm going to take my piece of paper here and um, I think I'm going to keep up with the blue because it's dark. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to keep up with the blue. I think red is going to be way too much. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit. I'm really not trying to cover my old, my old um, all my image here. Let me show you from closer. I'm really spreading little, oops, that's too much. 
this is really what I wanted to avoid. So let me see, I'm going to do like this. Just a tiny weeny bit. And if I miss really some spots, I can put some glue because the glue dries fairly quickly and is going to soak into your paper as well. I don't like these big blobs. And I think I'm going to call it good. Yeah, so there's not a big blob there. Okay, I'm putting this away. Right. And I'm going to leave this aside for now. Or just here, there. That's fine. And you will be using also a hot glue gun. It's going to be very useful because once this is dry, if you're using double-sided tape, it's going to have some trouble really sticking on your card because of the, of the glitter. So having a hot glue gun is going to be really useful here. So I've got my page here and I'm going to just uh, where is my there it is I've got a little trimmer here and I'm not gonna really uh, measure anything I'm gonna eyeball what I want to cut here let me go backwards and let's see I want to kind I think I'm gonna do the same thing a big one here so I'm gonna cut something fairly large okay cut this piece in half Okay, and then I'm going to make two smaller pieces there. So let's see. Um, that one is fine. And that one is a little larger. So everything doesn't look too even. They're almost the same size here. So I'm going to probably make one a little smaller. And I'm just going to cut it with my, uh, with my scissors here. So I'm going to make this one even a little smaller, yes. And I'm not really worried about the wood grain here because I'm going to cut this one about here in the middle. And I'm going to do the same thing here, maybe a little longer. I don't want them to be all in the se of the same size. So here a little longer. And this one here, my sick, okay, that's fine. I've got three length here. And I can still put them there because of my flowers. You can't see the bottom of it if it's too short. And what I want to do here as well is maybe leave this one there. And I'm going to cut these two like a little bit on an angle. So it looks a bit more natural. And just round a tiny bit the edges there. Just a tiny bit because candles are not, they don't have sharp edges. So I'm just going to cut it there. And again, sorry for my hands. I've got ink everywhere. And I don't know why. It's a distress ink, but it didn't want to go away. Okay, so I think I've got my three pieces there. Yes, let me put this aside again. And now I can, even though it's not totally dry there, but almost, it's almost dry, I'm going to start putting my candles here. So I'm going to put some hot glue. And I'm going to decide that, oops, I'm going to put it here. And I didn't put, it's true, I, I just found out later on, I didn't put any uh, sentiment here like Merry Christmas or anything else. I think it's it would be too much. I could have maybe do my candles smaller, but I really want to focus on this and I will have my message in the card anyway. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the two others. And I think I'm going to put this one there, but I want to put it a little bit lower. And this one even lower. So I might cut this part here, just the bottom part. And do it this way. I like when things are not completely even. And now for the, um, the light, here of my candles. I'm just going to cut it here in a piece of paper and cut out like a dewdrop shape. There it is and I'm going to put cut three of them, maybe one larger for my bigger candle 
because the wick obviously would be much bigger. So let me do this. Okay, and a smaller one. And I'm not an expert in cutting, that's why I turn my paper around. And now what I'm going to use here, and I think it's going to look even nicer, I'm just going to use my, uh, it's a gel pen, it's a glitter one. Here what I've done is I used a marker and I've colored first in yellow. This time I'm not going to do it and I think it's going to look nicer. So I'm going to color here, I'm going to zoom a little back, zoom in here, I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to put my fingers on it and it's not completely dry. And I'm not putting this gel pen everywhere. I'm leaving a little bit of white here and there because it has more natural look to it, I think. And that's fine. Maybe a little, go a little bit more here over the edge and that's it. And this one, I like it this way. I'm going to do the same thing. And you see, you can be sloppy a little bit with this. Don't have to be perfect. But still, it's really going to be nice. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit because ink gel needs to dry. So now I'm going to take care of my flowers. And I've cut out a few uh, flowers here, a few points that are in different lengths. So I told you the two smaller size. And I just put them in shape so they're not completely flat. And in order to do this, I just put my finger in the middle and I've just punched them like this, squeezed them on the sides, and it gave me all this uh, nice texture. And I'm going to stack them up a little bit. Here I put three layers of red and just one of green. I might put a little bit more of green here, and I want to use one big one. I'm going to probably do something like this. The big one, I'm going to put it in the middle. And again, I'm using my hot glue. Make sure you don't go too much over the size of your card, otherwise you won't be able to put it in your, um, in your envelope. Or maybe it's something you're going to give to someone, that's fine, because it's going to be quite thick depending also on which type of paper. You don't need to use thick paper for this. And I'm going to put this one here underneath. That's fine. So they overlap. It's more natural. And I'm going to use again a big one here. Just a little dab of glue. And this is really fun to do, honestly. That's really, really nice. And I enjoy so much Christmas. What do you think? Do you like Christmas? Don't you feel there's something special in the year when it comes, you know, the 1st of December or something? I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like people tend to be a little nicer with, with each other and the lights in the streets. And I, I wish it could be like this almost all year long, you know, people smiling and be more friendly. That would be so great. And I do love the lights everywhere. My goodness, my house is decorated so much. Not here where I live right now because I go uh, for the holidays uh, back where I come from. But um, yeah, these are maybe a bit too big. I'm going to use this color. I'm going to match the two colors. I don't really mind there. So I'm going to stack them up. There we go. And another one here. Let me take this one. No, I'm going to take this one. It's the smallest. And I'm only going to put two because I've put more flowers and I think it's going to be a bit too much. But I'm going to curl them up a little bit. And now I'm going to do the center. If you remember, I did also a video on this. I did some, um, it's hot glue and I've just sprinkled some glitter on it and I'm going to stick them in here. And they're bumpy, you know, they're quite thick, so that's just perfect. It's going to give me even more 3D to it. 
and if you haven't done any well that's very easy just and I've got all these strings in the middle just put a little dab of glue here in the middle or big or small dab and sprinkle some glitter on it just a little bit you don't have to put much leave it to dry a few seconds normally suffice and that's good I'm gonna put my um, my lights here which one is the biggest this one is the biggest and I'm going to put it this way and I like when it seems to float a little bit but I can't really do that because I'm going to make these float more yes sometimes you know it looks like it's not touching anything There you go, and there you go. Okay, so that's almost finished. I'm going to put my glitter back in the container because now it's dry enough and it's cooled down. There you have it. Oh, we'll take the strings out. I'm going to wait maybe a little bit for everything to completely cool down and now the final touch here is I am going to use this 3D acrylic paint it's tulip but whatever brand you have and I'm gonna use this as a last little decoration here on the top just on the top here of my candles here and there not too much are you able to see this wait a second Okay, zoom, good. And just a tiny, weeny bit. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. And it's just metallic, there's no shimmer. To, well, there's a little bit of shimmer, but no glitter. I think it's enough with the background and here. I don't want everything to be I think my candles are way too big on this one or this is way too big so if I can I might take it away I think this one is much better I've done I've been way too far on this one tell me what you think I just I this one is too big that's and this one too let me do this again you tell me what you think I think it's way too much um, the proportions here are too big compared to my card so I'm just going to do it again a smaller one for this one here and just a tiny bit bigger for this one I think it will look much better I'm going to put some glitter here whoops Come on. Yep. And I'm going to put my fingers in there anyway. I just don't want you to wait too long for this to dry. There it is. I think it's already better and this one there but I did go way overboard it would be nice on another bigger card if it was like a a7 size uh, I think it's called a7 uh, that would be much better but on this one it's way too small uh, yeah my card is way too small and I put my fingers in there so be careful it's just like glitter glue I don't like using glitter glue usually because I put my fingers everywhere there we go so yes I think on this one I've been way too overboard it's too big compared to the size of my card but anyway I had a lot of uh, pleasure doing this these two cards I hope you had too so if it's the case please give me some thumbs up subscribe to this channel and share I'll be back very soon for other videos see you soon bye bye